Uh, the other uh, aspect uh, that, that Putin has, I think, played very, very shrewdly is a game of psychological warfare where he has scared the bejesus out of the West and even a lot of the Western leaders that he is somehow almost semi-psychotic and that he's going to pull the trigger on this nuclear forces and he's going to bomb Warsaw, you know, dump a nuclear weapons, going to use nuclear weapons. I don't think he's that stupid. I think he's playing a very uh, shrewd game of deliberately fomenting this fear to paralyze the Western forces and the Western politician into not doing anything for fear that he will do something irrational. He's not irrational. He's not psychotic. He's not a Hitler who, you know, with a deranged mind and deranged ideology that's motivating and he will sacrifice everything. He's playing, you know, the classical KGB game of disinformation, sowing fear, sowing discord, and he's doing it very, very well. He is not a madman. He's a very shrewd KGB op operative with a you know, very determined set of goals in mind. Uh, and he is using every card, including psychologically destabilizing world opinion, to try and gain his objectives. A deranged madman would not systematically, over the course of the 10, 15 years he's been in power, squirrel away, I think the estimate is $200 billion in you know, wealth that he's distributed in offshore bank accounts. He's purported to be the richest man in the world. You know, you think he's going to drop a bomb, and he knows very well that between NATO and the U.S., they could basically destroy the whole of Russia. Like, they could destroy every city, probably kill off 90% of the population, if not more, if he started a nuclear war. I don't think he's that stupid, and I don't think he's, uh, he's a martyr. He doesn't see himself as a martyr. You know, and he has done a very, very good job of painting a, a, a kind of a mythological picture of himself. And he's done this, you know, you look at what he's done with the Russian people. It's been a very systematic PR campaign, you know, showing him as the he-man, the, the macho guy riding bare-chested on a horse, fighting tigers, doing this. That's, it's all make-believe. Like, it's, it's, it was a concerted effort to paint a mythological picture of Putin to impress the locals. Well, he's doing the same thing with world opinion, painting this deliberate deliberately painting this picture that he might be somewhat of a madman. That's to deliberately scare the West into an action. So I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't uh, really fear the fact that he's going to start a, 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 you know, a third world war, a nuclear war. Uh, I don't think he's that stupid. He, I think he's rational enough that he knows very well what he's doing and this is just a psychological game.